Shit, I lost one more game. I'm playing many games every day. Is there any game that can help my CAD preparation? Yup, you know Abhishek and I'll teach you what games to play. Learn it from the man. You might be wondering, hey, did I hear it right? Are there really games that will help my CAD score? Well, I'm not saying it will improve your CAD score, but I'm definitely telling you, it gives you one nice edge. It gives you that one idea of understanding how logical reasoning works. You you play a game, at the same time, you are critically thinking what goes where. You are, you are there. And you are also competing all these games on a time basis. And you get only one game a day. So you are not typically wasting time on these games. At the same time, you 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 prepare for this exam in one way or the other. One game that I really love every time I talk about this is this one game called uh, Queens. Queens is one beautiful game where the game is all about assigning one queen in each row and one queen in each column. No two queens in the same row, no two queens in the same column and no two queens adjacent to each other diagonally as well. And also every color region gets one queen each. You get one game a day so you maintain a streak. It barely takes two to three minutes. You get a small grid. You you arrange every queen once you are done, you are through. It probably takes three minutes a day and you are preparing for your exam. At the same time, you are also getting that one relaxed moment. Some a couple of minutes after your uh, an intense preparation, you come back, you relax. But at the same time, you are playing a game. But parallelly, you are also preparing one idea about arrangement and stuff. Beautiful game. Go give it a try. Another game that I recommend very often is this simple game called Tango. Again, available on LinkedIn. So this game is all about having six cross six grid, where each row and column gets three suns and three moons. You have to give three suns and three moons for every row and column. But the interesting part is, no, you cannot have three consecutive suns or three consecutive moons, and you also get a few clues on how to arrange. So go have a crack at it. Another nice game that barely takes a couple of minutes, maybe even lesser than that. Some of us even take seconds to crack it, but you are not wasting hours on in a game. You play a game, but parallelly you are doing something productive. A nice, simple game to go with. Another game that I love, which is pretty recent in LinkedIn, is called this Zip. Simple. You just have to connect all 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 8, ensuring that you cover the entire grid and you connect all the numbers sequentially. So nice. And you have all these barriers, you cannot cross it. So go give it a try. Another game, a couple of minutes. So see, two, two, two minutes, five to six minutes. And we are good. You have relaxed, you are preparing, but at the same time, you are, you are, you are understanding on arrangements and stuff that gives you one knack when it comes to LRDA. Apart from this, a couple of games that might probably be lengthy, but I feel this should be in everyone's arsenal is chess. Chess is this one game that I'm pretty sure most of us like. Right. Um, anyone who has been playing chess understands that when you get stuck in the middle, you cannot come out. I would not recommend you to play this game on, on, on internet or on an app. Rather play with someone in person so that you can stop with the game. And you also have this idea of playing, relaxing at the same time. Um, figuring out what are the possible ways that this game can go. So as chess masters say, they know the next 50, 60 steps. You don't have to be a master. We can be a student and still say, if I make this move, what are the possible scenarios that I end up with? So by doing that, you get one, one idea of arrangements. Again, possibilities and stuff, you are pl playing to win. Sometimes we play to learn, sometimes you play to win. It depends. At the end of the day, you, you are spending some time, you are playing a game, but still it is productive. But if you say, hey, I don't have anyone to play chess with. I don't want to do it on a phone. Is there a game that I can play that will keep me fixed? It will keep me hooked. But at the same time, gives me one idea of arrangement, doing LRDI. Well, the game that's definitely there on the cards, Sudoku, a classic. Um, <clears throat> this game has to be there, needs to be there every day. So, Grab a newspaper, any newspaper, Hindu, Times of India, whatever it is, you have a section and you go there, you have a column for Sudoku. Go, grab it, take a pencil, sit, solve it. 
and you feel that that sense of achievement comes the moment you finish it live in that moment that gives you the boost to go back and prepare for your exam right so games are necessary but it's not going to be the mandatory thing you don't dwell there uh, stray away from all these games that will keep you hooked for hours and hours i, I don't recommend that at the same time we need one relaxation these are the games that i would recommend go have a crack at it let us know how you felt about all these games all the best we have a master class how to crack cat that's happening this saturday april 12th at 7 pm if you want to attend this webinar the link for registration is given in the description below click the link register for it ha sit tight get all the information that you need to know about cat and other competitive exam and beat the curve all the best Shh.